It has a soft top, but still weighs around 40 kilograms more. This is due to the reinforcements in the car's structure to guarantee stability. You have to really get deep into the structure of the vehicle. Of course, you need to open the roof and you need a hood to close it again. We have two bulkheads in the car to ensure correct torsional strength and cross struts for additional support underneath. Together, they provide the structure with the reinforcement it needs. You really can't see any of the extra hardware and even while driving, the impact of the extra weight is not noticeable. The reason could well be the engine of our test car. This is one of two engines available at launch with either 71 or, as we have here, 90 brake horsepower, produced by a three-cylinder petrol engine. At start in February, gear changes will be made by a dual-clutch gearbox. The five-speed manual versions will follow on later. The 90 brake horsepower, together with the automatic gearbox, nips around the many city roundabouts in tidy manner. Combined with a turning circle of less than 7 meters, the Smart Cabrio is a real artist at parking. But now to the main event. It takes 12 seconds to open the roof of the Smart to give you unrestricted sky above your head. Let's have a look how the Smart converts into a cabriolet. The multi-layer roof of the new convertibles is overall 20 millimeters thick and includes a heated glass rear window. The fabric roof goes in two stages, first backwards and then downwards. The roof rails are removed quickly and easily and are stored in the lid of the boot. Smart tells us that the boot of the convertible will hold a maximum of 340 litres. However, open the roof and store the bars in the boot lid and this number could come down quite a bit. But for regular city driving in the Smart, you won't need to worry about that. Everything's packed and ready to go, but this takes space out of the tiny, tiny boot. But that's the price we're going to have to pay if you want to have a proper cabriolet. That's not so important. The Smart wouldn't be the first convertible to have its load space compromised when the roof comes down. And if you're happy with this small compromise, you certainly should be happy with this car. Just like the more than 200,000 people who bought the previous model. This is definitely not the right place for the new Smart Cabriolet. But in the city, he's a hero. Very small turning circle, good fuel consumption, extremely agile. And without the roof, double the fun.